everybody, today we're going to be talking about 1977's The Mighty Peking Man, also known as Goliathon in the US English dub, which came out in 1980. After hearing about mysterious footprints in the Himalayas, an adventurer goes and sets off on a perilous journey to find this supposed mighty Peking man. What he finds surprises him through all of his various troubles and dangers such as quicksand, animals, tigers, elephants, and other dangerous things, he discovers not only the mighty Peking man known as Utam, he discovers a mysterious woman known as Samantha who has been raised up by the mighty Peking man and who now is basically Lady Tarzan, complete with her own animal friends of a tiger, a leopard, and an elephant or two. Our brave adventurer Johnny soon falls in love with Samantha and saves her life from a venomous serpent. And in return he is able to convince Samantha, as well as Utam, the mighty Peking man, to come and join him back in civilization. Various things happen, some of them good and some of them bad, and we are treated to a monstrous mashup of animal cruelty, human greed, and cinematic destruction in The Mighty Peking Man. Now folks, if you're ever curious about what I think of this movie, I'm going to tell you right now. I think there's a lot of good in this movie. I think there's a lot of good in most of the movies that I've watched on here, and in preparation for the King Kongathon. The miniatures are great in this movie. There's a lot of miniatures, whether they're villages or cities, and they really get used to very good effect here. The suit itself for the creature, the mighty Peking man, Utam, or Goliathon, is very nice. It's really nice to see. You have some puppetry here and there with a, a mask or face. <laughs> the sound design is great here. There's a lot of action throughout the movie, whether it's limited to the monster himself or the various creatures or other characters who are in this movie. There's a lot of good stuff here and there. So if you're interested in trying out something different, something new, something a little more exotic with your giant ape movies, then I'd recommend that you at least check out The Mighty Peking Man. I'm Mongo, and I'll see you on the next episode of The King Kongathon. See you next time, folks.